Hi, I'm Larry Yo. Welcome to Can Make It Makeup. Because your makeup can't make it, I am here to help you make it. So the first step of a great makeup is always skincare. It's about prepping the skin so the skin is plumped up. So there's a very good canvas for your makeup to go on. So for the first step, because the skin is dry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray a first layer of water on the skin. So by introducing a very thin layer of water first, when you apply our skincare, it glides on better and also your skin would be more hydrated from the water that you spray on. Next, I'm using a hydrating mist. I'm using Mac Fix Plus to focus on the dry spots, right? I'll take the mist, I'll spray itself and spray it directly on my fingers and then massage my fingertips and directly I go on to the drier areas. When you apply makeup, this whole part will always look as if it's slightly dusted or worse wrinkly. So always hydrate up to the neck. When we spray such hydrating mist, we always try to take like 20 centimeters away and just spray it on yourself. The problem with misting spray is that some people spray too close, eventually looks like you're sweating a lot. It's quite gross and drippy. Then they're like, oh my god, it's dripping everywhere. What I'm going to do is simply take your own fingers and massage it upon the skin. By doing this, your fingertips have, have many, many points of nerves. So by going across, you can feel wherever your skin is dehydrated, dry or even patchy. Some people believe in slapping things upon the face. They say it wakes up the face. If you want to wake up the face, go f***ing run. Next, I'm using a hydrating essence. This one is by Hada Labo. One of my favourite because it's lightweight, doesn't transfer too much skin upon the skin, and yet enough for me to make the skin more hydrated and more supple. Is serum really a need before moisturising and Um. Depends on personal preference. Some people find that when they apply too much, they break out. If you're really lazy, get your hydration from your toner, right. massage on, you use hydrating serum. The problem is most people, they apply nothing, they put the moisturizer, and it foams because the skin is not softened. And then you apply your makeup, then parts of it get patchy. I always start hydration from the center, skipping the nose because the nose is always um, oily. So I spread on the whole hand, go on, massage it outwards. Into the forehead, Chin, the excess, onto the neck. Behind the neck and sometimes maybe your ears even. So I like to massage and take the excess from the fingers and push to the nose area. But if you have a nose job done, just be careful. You don't need to um, After you apply, you find that oh it's a bit sticky. The stickiness has to happen so when the makeup applies on, it looks smoother. If it's very matte, you'll find your makeup always gets this strange chalkiness to it. And then you blame your foundation, and then you buy 11,000 primers, and then you blame the person applied for you, you blame yourself, you blame everything except your own skill. The dripping things on the face, number one is unprofessional, number two, it looks really gross. Basically, it looks like a flock of pigeons flew by and shat on your face. So every time they do it to their own face, I'm quite grossed out, so they do it about. Like, now next to under eye. Depends on the person's requirement and needs, you moisturize accordingly. I find that it gives too much slip and sometimes it runs to my own eye, I feel a slight burning sensation. For her, if her eyes are visually drier because she constantly likes to rub it, right? Yes, I do. Because I can see. I'm going to use something different. This is Maxi Coral Grass Vibrancy Eye Cream because this one is light reflectors and it has film formers. So when I apply upon under eye, it cr already create that Primer for me. Let me this yes. with any pigment, it's pinkish. It contains mica. So what it does reflects like. As you apply eye cream, I'm just gonna pull my finger and tap. It's the same method you apply on yourself. So if I do like this and towards the mirror, I'll do the same little tap. If you know that your fingers are too strong, use your ring finger. You tap first, have enough product to spread across the eye area. There should be no pulling. Once there's pulling, there's too much friction. So there's a form of freshness under the eye. See so it straight ahead again. You can see. It's brighter and there's a soft glow to it. And that's like still like her own natural matte finishing. Can we spread it on the lips as well? Ah. Personal preference? If you want to do that, maybe use it at night. So the excess on the finger, they put on the eyelid. Mm. The eye area is folded. It's a moving right. area. Right. As you blink, your moisturizer is going to get caught in between the lids. I'm going to finish up with a moisturizer. Moisturizers comes in many forms. It's about personal preferences. There is also like um, emulsion. Emulsions are lightweight moisturizer that is in liquid form, like a more watery format. 
always try the texture first and how you like the texture on the skin. Same thing, you always use your hand as um, the contact point, the spreading point. So I'm taking it, I'm doing like two palms and then spread it on my fingertips. So knowing that the sides are dry, you start moisturization on the side. Notice carefully that I'm pushing away. Some people say that, oh, but if I do this way, the face will set. Oh my god. If you massage upwards or downwards, you cannot fight gravity. Gravity will pull your face down. So unless you're telling me you're defying gravity, how you can apply? You bend over and slap your face upwards. Unless you are moisturizing your face like you are cleaning the floor, then it matters. You know how some people remove eye makeup? Whoa! Right? How it sacks is because the more you rub, you're breaking your skin and fatty tissue from your muscle. So as the fatty tissue breaks apart, your face sacks. Basically, use your fingers and just press. That slight tackiness, that Korean colic, chok chok, that feel itself means your skin is hydrated. So when you apply makeup, it looks even smoother. There's last two steps I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the sunscreen first, and then lip balm. Why I do that? Because sometimes you put too much lip balm, you put your sunscreen on, and you slather your lip balm and sunscreen together. There's a whole mess here, up to your nostril. I see people do that, it's quite funny to me, but it's not funny for them. Sunscreen has different textures and different purpose, depending on your own personal preference. How much do we use? You're supposed to use one teaspoon for your face. You take it, right? And then you pour like this. That's a lot. No, it's not. You spread it out on the whole palm. Why the whole palm? Because bigger surface area, you spread, it's more consistent. At a point that's not enough product, the skin will literally stop because there's too much friction. The product don't glide. I like to take a lot of sunscreen near the eyes. You notice that I skip the eyelid. I maybe push it to the brow, but not to the eyelid, moving eyelid. Most sunscreen are primers. So if you prep your skin well enough, you know you got a really good sunscreen, you don't have to apply enough primer. Normally, I apply products on the skin. I don't apply too much products on the skin itself because it's your skin, it's movable, it's breathable. You're not building Marina Bay Sands. So when everything is done itself, the skin should look smoother. You should have that glass skin finish. Basically, you have a natural glow. For oily skin, after you apply skincare itself, you'll notice that there is always this soft sheen to it. It's okay. That sheen is quite beneficial because your makeup will look too flat. It will just look more three-dimensional. The obvious last step is now lip balm. So slather on lip balm, leave a thin layer on. What it does, it will condition the lip. So this is my final step of segment one of five of can make it makeup. Because you cannot make it, I teach you to make it. <laughs>